Making the switch to drip irrigation can be a tough management decision for some producers, but for David Carthel of Palmer County, the investment was well worth it. Carthel is using his drip system to strategically water his corn crop in three stages to compensate for Mother Nature's limited resources this growing season. Because uh, instead of putting my drip on automatic where it was rotating, you know, every hour and a half, every one uh, station, like I have four stations that waters at one time. Carthel realized that to keep moisture in the soil, he would have to water one spot for a longer period of time. I just stayed on one station for like five days and tried to push the water to the uh -huh. top. And then that third got wet and it came up and then I moved to the next third and started watering it and it was windier and hotter so I stayed two more days on it, about six or seven and then the third stage, the third 23 acres I stayed about seven or eight days on it. With three different stages of cornfields, Cartho believes he can achieve an optimum corn crop while efficiently managing his water resources. 90% germinated with the drip. Even though any irrigation system can have problems, Carthel's drip system seems to be having fewer issues than his other irrigation systems this year. You're just getting more of your water that you're pumping out of the ground is actually getting on the crop. We will continue to follow Carthel's drip irrigated corn throughout 2011. We will outline the progress of this crop as it weathers record-breaking temperatures and one of the worst droughts our state has ever seen.